Hi YouTubers, um, I'm going to be doing a small and short haul video. Um, this was from an independent thrift store that I uh, go to on a weekly basis. Um, I didn't get much, maybe two bagfuls, but the items that I got, they're going to bring me um, a good profit. Um, got um, two straps. This one uh, he gave me for 50 cents, um, and it's a very heavy duty kind. I'll probably make uh, no less than $20 on, on it. Um, this one seems like it's a genuine leather. Doesn't have the logo um, or the brand of the bag, um, and it doesn't adjust, and I pay $2 for it. I can make uh, around $20. I got uh, some handbags this is an anthropology bag I really like the way it looks um, I paid five dollars for it and it has the soft leather I'm trying to open it it's a crossbody bag um, it's nice um, golden blue metallic um, there there's some wear to it but very light scuffing like on the corners right there some staining probably from the jeans and it has a uh, has that strap and very nice and clean interior. Um, I can sell this one for between uh, 40 and $60. Um, I found um, some on eBay, some similar ones on eBay. Here's a Tignanello. Oh, I'm sorry. I want to tell you the brand of it. It's Jesslyn Blake. Here's a Tignanello black leather shoulder bag kind of like a bucket type but um, I guess it is and you can um, pull the straps um, it does have a little bit of wear on the inside um, some staining I will clean it up with a washcloth and um, maybe um, use some saddle soap to freshen up the leather and I can sell this bag probably for $30 to $40. I don't know how much he, he charged me for it. Um, maybe I'm thinking $4 or $5 um, because it did not have a price tag and I forgot to ask him. So and they were almost closing, so it was quick. I'm sure he didn't give me, he didn't charge me a lot for it. Um, here's a nice Nine West tote. This is a nylon. And this is leather. Um, I really like the way this one looks. It's kind of like an original style and it's very, very clean inside. Um, this bag looks like new condition. There's no scuffing to it. Um, and I paid $8 for it, which is kind of a lot for a Nine West bag. I don't really get this kind of, uh, this brand much. Um, but uh, I looked some uh, on eBay. And they sell for not a bad price. Probably I can sell this one no less than $40. So I'm going to shoot around 50 bucks, which should be a good profit for eight, uh, from $8. Here's a Kipling um, large, kind of like a travel bag um, or like a everyday type of bag for people who like the bigger sizes. Um, it has some staining, which I can clean up. All the zippers work. And this is a good brand to sell. I paid $4 for it. And it is authentic from, uh, from the zippers, from the material. Because there are some uh, fake ones out there that um, people, people sell. But this one's authentic. Oh, and uh, I could probably make around $50. Um, I sell smaller sizes once for like 40 bucks. So this is a good, decent size. Um, I found this uh, fossil luggage tags. Um, it seems like it's a new condition. The only thing that I'm confused on is it has PSP on the back. But the inside still has the fossil, fossil little um, paper. So seems to me like by the feel of it this is um, fossil leather um, I used to own a lot of fossil bags 
um, back in the days, but they're just too heavy for me to carry now. Um, so I do the nylon bags. Uh, anyways, $2 is what I paid for it, and um, similar ones sell for $28 just for the single um, luggage tag. So, But I think $28 is going to be um, enough for me to sell for, for this box. This item I will be sending to FBA. I paid $3, and it's a floor diffuser. I don't know what, what people do with it, but anyways, it's still new, sealed, and it sells for $9.99 on Amazon. I just sent off um, a large box to FBA, um, and I will be sending another one out probably by the end of the week. Um, found these two, brand new. I checked the contents because lately I've been so excited about... Um, finding new things that I don't look inside the box to uh, my disappointment there's something missing so um, I don't even um, I don't even um, what the, what is the word I'm looking for I don't uh, blah, blah, sorry <laughs> anyways I double check the boxes inside to make sure everything is there um, before I get it even um, because there's really um, you know you, you won't get as much money for something if it's missing something you know what I mean in the box anyways two dollars each for these um, I can make eleven ninety nine on each one um, at first I was just gonna get this box and um, and just buy one but I'm like okay what the heck I'll just get the second one and um, it's gonna make me um, a few bucks on it usually I don't like to buy anything that's less than ten dollars because it's not worth my time after all the fees and, and stuff like that this is I was excited about this um, this item um, it sells for ten dollars on Amazon it's a Martha Stewart um, fine shear there's only one on here one panel and it had a price of four dollars and then 50 cents on here so at the register, I was like, um, this has two prices. Um, if you can give it to me for 50 cents, I'll take it. He said, sure. <laughs> so that was, um, that was super nice of him. Um, yeah, and it's brand new. It's sealed off to Amazon. It's going to go. Got a bunch of uh, Kenmore uh, canister vacuum bags. Um, they were, they're still brand new. Uh, sealed and they're resealable and I did make sure that they were sealed um, this thing wasn't ripped off yet and it sells for $9.88 on Amazon and uh, these things I like to get um, because they are super super light and uh, very easy to list since there's a listing already on Amazon for it so I've got three of those at two bucks each Got a whole bunch of um, audio cassettes, a whole big stack. Um, this one I can uh, sell for eighteen ninety, and I paid I paid fifty cents for all the um, audio discs, uh, cassettes. I'm sorry. Uh, Seventeen for this one. I'm not sure exactly around um, eight dollars for that one since it's a first and second. There's a another um, set of another series for this certain book mm, I don't remember how much for that but no less than eight dollars for each one which should make me a good profit this one uh, it's a book light I was actually gonna keep it for myself because I do read um, read books when my kids go to sleep and it is evening time but uh, I might change my mind and, and sell it. It's still new um, and in package. I paid a dollar for it, um, but I might sell it on Amazon. I'm not exactly sure. Here's some more. This one is super cool. It's still sealed. Uh, 50 cents is what I paid. 26.10 on Amazon, which is awesome. I'm super happy about that. Um, here's another one. Uh, this one was 50 cents as well, 12.10. 
I can make. Um, this one I'll probably have to do some research since it's another type of uh, audio cassette from uh, a series. This is one and two, and there's, I believe, four and five on there. Brand new sealed New Testament, 14 CDs. I paid $4.00 and I can make 20 bucks on this one. Here's, uh, I got two vintage games. I paid two dollars for this one and it's Smarty 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 Bingo Game. 14. Here's a game kind of like chess. Um, it, not chess, checkers. It's called King's Court and it's vintage. I'm trying to find the year, 1989. Um, it sells for 30 on Amazon. And I checked all the contents are there. How much did I pay for it? I paid two dollars for it. And it's kind of a, it's a nice, nice game. Very unique. Um, these pieces look like glass, but they're plastic. And all of them are here, instructions. So I hope I get thirty dollars for it. Anyhow, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit like. Um, if you have a comment, please leave one. Um, let me know what you guys think. And uh, stay tuned for another haul video coming up soon. Take care. Blessings to you all.